Today we will be discussing phase lock loop. Strictly speaking it is frequency lock loop since uh, phase and frequency they are linearly related delta phi by delta t rate of change of phase is called frequency. If phase lock occurs output frequency is same as input frequency. Now this has application in modems or demodulation of FSK and uh, FM demodulation and frequency uh, synthesis, recovery of the clock, speed control of all present day motors, they use basic principle of phase locking. Therefore, it is a must that we should understand the basics. It's pretty simple. Let us consider now the various basic building blocks of the phase lock loop. This is the VCO which we had discussed earlier. Right? It is made up of the speed trigger integrator multiplier loop. So this is a linear VCO. This is getting its input from the low pass filter which is connected to the phase detector. That phase detector in turn gets its input from the uh, input frequency here and the output of the, uh, the speed trigger in the VCO. So these have amplitudes VPO and VPI square wave filters. This is 0.1 dx into VY. It detects T phase and the average of this appears here. So this forms the loop. Now if this incoming frequency is not applied, the output is zero and there is no change of voltage here which is set at some coefficient value and corresponding to the coefficient value this runs at a frequency called free running frequency of the phase law. If now the input frequency is same as free running frequency, still there should be no change in frequency therefore there should be no change in the average at this point. Okay? So that change should be zero which means the phase shift of the incoming frequency and the output should adjust automatically to that value that is phi is equal to 90 degree so that the average which is cos phi or maybe related to phi directly is going to be zero. Uh, the average is going to be zero that means cos phi is going to be zero or phi is pi by two. So the phase shift automatically adjusts itself to pi by two. Now we will demonstrate this here. Before that we have to build this circuit. We can take the ASLK kit and we can use one of these op amps as integrator and this particular op amp as speed trigger for the VCO and this is the multiplier in the loop of the VCO. And we will use the other multiplier as the phase detector. The connections are very simple. These connections are made here and we can see that the incoming frequency is now adjusted to be the same as free running frequency which is roughly about 550 hertz. And the phase you can see is exactly pi by 2. Now I am going to change the frequency on either side of the free running frequency. It will be less than the free running frequency in one case and more than the free running frequency in the other case. Accordingly the phase shift should adjust so that the uh, change in voltage at the VC is accommodating the change in frequency. So let us see this. I am changing it to let's say one extreme let's say 300 hertz you can see that the phase is trying to adjust towards 180 degree so this is going high and this is going low if I go to the other extreme now let's say 900 hertz phase is coming to be zero right? they are coming to be very close to the uh, in phase situation. 
Now, the, therefore, the phase keeps on changing to accommodate change in frequency so that it can sustain a constant frequency at the output of the DC. So, this range within which it changes from 0 to 180 degree is called the lock range. And beyond this lock range, the phase lock loop may go out of lock, which means it comes back to the free running frequency, or uh, it may go into harmonic locking if the loop gain is high. Thank you very much.